Hey everybody, it's Iceman again. Um, today I want to talk about a little something that's kind of been pissing me off. Hold on, my fucking monitor is a little weird here. today. This is one of my friends that I've known for quite a while. Um, I knew him from the same juvenile lockup facility where I met my girlfriend. Yeah, kind of weird how that one works, but bear with me, you know. I, I, um, now the story with how that I was there was actually I was abused as a kid and I fought back so I just I don't wanna talk too much about that um but I mean it's in the past I've made up with my ex stepdad and my grandma fucking like no pussy That text there was actually from my girlfriend, and that is part of why I'm doing this episode right now. What it is, is my friend had came to my, uh, came to the apartment. Alright Austin, goddamn. But, uh, nah, my friend came in with his girlfriend, and what I thought was going to happen was he was just going to change his clothes after he got off work. No big deal. But he was in the bathroom for quite a long time. Unresponsive and everything. His girlfriend goes in and finds he was shooting up. I was like, oh, hell no. I basically said he is not to fucking return. He is no longer welcome here. Because that could have gotten us fucking kicked out. And it's going to fall on us because we are the only ones here for the weekend. While the head the head of household is out so we're fucked if this is caught i mean i don't want to fucking sit around wasting all kinds of shit to bury it throw it in a fucking dumpster and all that happy or shit i but i am i got the rest of the weekend but yeah you know, I'm fucking pissed because he he didn't have the respect for me or anyone else. You know, it's bad enough that I already made amends with my dad. You know, it, it, it took 26 years. But I finally made amends with my dad. But, um, according to this text, my friend's dad supposedly died. But I think what it is. Personally, and once again, this goes back to my dad. Yeah. My grandpa, I, I will admit, yeah, after my grandpa passed, my dad went 
went into a downward spiral. So, uh, yeah. But he was using it as a crutch. Uh, yeah. I was using my grandma's death as a crutch for the longest time. Sure, it still hurts. You know, considering she was one of the biggest influences in my life. But day after day, I have to, you know, live with the fact that shit happens. When it's your time, it's your time. Not everyone's going to be around forever. And I think that's why, uh, and now that I'm about to end this video, everybody has asked me, why don't you ever end it positively? Well, I never really had anything positive happened to me a lot of times but just recently my dad um, it was the day after Memorial Day but my dad gets out of prison to be transferred to a halfway house uh, the transportation system dicked him around like all fucking day he didn't get in until midnight the 27th. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Midnight on the 27th. But, um, yeah, he was stranded in Pittsburgh for like eight hours before he had to get transferred to Erie. But, uh, I'm like, you know what? 26 years. I'm gonna let bygones be bygones. This is my fucking dad. The only dad I have. You know. He may have been a sperm donor. But when I got to talking to him. Looked, he looked me in the eyes. And admitted he was wrong. You know. He sat there. Admitting to me that. He fucked up. He wants to make everything right. With everyone. Everyone. That he did any wrong to. Me, my brother Jake, my sisters Ashley and Amber, uh, hell, even my stepsister Lynn. He, he wants to make everything right with me. everyone. All of his kids, all, uh, like, all his baby moms, you know, everyone, everyone. That he's ever wronged. And at first, when I read the letters, I thought, eh, that's just prison talk. He, he doesn't really mean that. But you can tell a lot about somebody and their demeanor by looking into their eyes. When I looked in my dad's eyes and he told me he wants to make up for everything, at first I was skeptical. But once I looked deep, I was like, yeah, you spend, what, eight, nine years sleeping on metal fucking planks, metal beams, whatever. You spend eight or nine years sleeping on those. And your son, who you had a lot to prove to, your son... Hell, your firstborn son. Wouldn't say firstborn child because my sister Amber is like a year or so older than me. But when I sit there and give him my bed to sleep in, and I pull an all nighter because there's nowhere else to fucking sleep, I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna sit there and make amends with him like this too. But. I want to make sure, you know, that I'm not wasting my time either. But I, I want to make sure I'm not being lied to or anything. I want, I want him to get help. I really do. You know, he's going on 50, and I'm sitting here going on 27. I'm like, look, I'll, I'm sitting here just about pushing 30. And 
I want to grow the fuck up. I mean, yeah, I'll, I'll be immature because I, from time to time, because yeah, I never really had a childhood. But at the same time, I got, I got to be that guy that has responsibilities and is mature to where I understand that yeah, no one's perfect. Everybody makes mistakes. I mean, shit, look at Scott, uh, Scott Hall. Alright. He was one of my favorite wrestlers growing up. He had an alcohol problem. But his progression, I, I, I guess I can say, uh, yeah, he realized. Everybody makes mistakes. Forgive, move on, and make sure that they don't do it again, you know? Don't don't tempt them. I, and that's the thing. It, it, say somebody has a porn addiction, all right? Don't fucking sit there and give them a goddamn Playboy. Don't give them a Hustler, Penthouse, whatever. <laughs> you know? That would be like... That would be as stupid as me taking my dad to a bar. Granted, yeah, I'll have to be babysitter, but it'd be a stupid idea. Because that'd be enabling them. I don't want to do that. I want to make sure after 26 years, me and my dad are finally as close as we should have been from day one. That's what I've always wanted. But, you know, the seed's planted. All we got to do is wait for it to grow. You know, that's all that needs to be done. Oh, shit, it's like 12 minutes. In. Um, yeah, I better wrap, wrap this up, though. But I've never actually been happier. So, it might be a while before something else pisses me off because... I'm on fucking cloud nine, you know, <laughs> but I'll see you guys.